We're here. It's Kathy Goodson with Goodson Vintage Treasures, and we're here for DIY Maker's Place. And today, we're going to be using some resin and some molds, some IOD molds, and some DIY paint. And we're going to be making, I'll show you what we're going to be making. We're going to be making plant markers. Except I'm going to kind of call them plant decorations because I don't really need my plants marked. These are going to go in my flower pots. So I'm going to show you what I made. And usually I make things to sell, and these I'm going to make to keep because I have lots of pots, and I'm going to put these in to decorate them. But I thought you might like to see how we do this. So I'm going to aim you down so you can see what we're doing. So if you have questions, I have an iPad so I can see what's going on. And let's see if I can get you zoomed in good. Or I can, you can see and I can work. Yeah. Who's here today? Tell me hey. I'm Kathy Goodson. I'm from Goodson Vintage Treasures. I live in, okay, I live in Lincoln County, North Carolina. And I live so far out in the country, I have a maiden address. And I don't even live in Maiden. I live in a different county. So here's what we're making. Let's see if I can get you. Yeah, there we go. That's a little bird, that's from uh, the bird song. This one I put a leaf on. I get to my camera angle. And this one I put butterflies. And this one I put a butterfly, and I'm not very good at hand lettering, but I wrote pesticide free, because I don't use any more pesticides than I absolutely have to. And I have paint on my hands today, so forgive me for that. This is what I made them out of. Let me show you what I have. I went to the thrift store, first time I've gotten to go in weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks. And I actually went to Goodwill and I found three packs of these little plant markers. And they weren't originally but $3 anyway, and I got them for a dollar. And this is what they look like. And I took them and I sprayed them with shellac because they're pretty shiny. And I don't have any of DIY, DIY has a new product, but I haven't had a chance to try it yet. So when I try the new DIY product, I'll use it. I'll let you know how it goes. I don't sell DIY products. I'm gonna put my links in right now. I don't sell DIY products, I wish I could. I'm looking for a place to sell them, but I don't sell them. But I do sell the IOD products. So make sure you go to your DIY locator page, which I put in the, my comment, and you can find your local DIY retailer. So this is what we're working with, these little plant markers. And I'll put them out of the way. For those of you just joining, this is what we're making. I'll leave that there so you can see it. Okay, now what we're gonna do next, first, is I'm going to show you how to pour resin. I would, I, this is what resin looks like on here. I'm gonna use the clear. <clears throat> I wouldn't use the clay for this because these may get wet, so I use the resin. So I'm gonna show you what, and I actually have the mermaid here because I'm gonna mix up enough to pour mermaid, hopefully, because I need a mermaid for next week. Okay, so what I'm going to use is the amazing casting resin. I do not sell this in my, on my paid, on my online shop yet, goodsomevintagetreasures.com. I will sometime soon. I'm going on vacation, so I didn't, I'm afraid to order anything because it'll all come in while I'm gone. This is the kind that turns white and cures in 10 minutes. There's another kind that, that takes like 24 hours to cure. Really, you can use it in like 12 hours, but 24 hours to cure, and it it cures clear. But it's not. you wanna look for the amazing casting resin that just goes in 10 minutes if you wanna use it that day. And what you get, you get two solutions. And I'm gonna pop my gloves on, if I can find where I put them. Gloves. I always have something I forgot to grab. Because you're supposed to use gloves with this chemical. So I'm going to pop my gloves on. So we have Clara from Nevada. And is it Deliza? Deliza Dixon. Hey. Pat from Virginia. Who else is here? Tell me hey. I'd love to see where everybody's from. Have any of you ever poured resin in a mold? Today I'm gonna to use, well I use a variety of molds, but today I'm gonna to pour resin in this one. This is Birdsong. 
And I sell these on my IOD website. It's um, goodsandvintagetreasures.com. Oh, duh, Lisa. Gotcha. Ward, Ward, Arkansas. I've been to Arkansas. Okay, here we go. What we're going to take, we're going to use, we need a, I need a cup to mix it in. I have poured out solution A. comes with a bottle. You get solution A. So you get a chemical reaction to make this resin. The first time I used this resin, I poured a great big cup full, about half the size of this cup. And I thought you stirred it a long time, and I stirred and stirred, and I got a whole cup of resin set up. Then you add solution B. This is B to get your chemical reaction. You stir it. You see it turn white? As soon as it turns white, you're ready to start pouring it. And then it turns clear. And that's when you go. That has a little bit of... I'm going to pour this bird. Which bird? This one. It's going to pour it in my mold. You don't need anything in your mold to prepare it. Just needs to be clean and empty. And I always get some on the side. And my table is an old antique farm. Now I'm gonna pour this mermaid, and that's not for today. That's for next week. Ooh, this cup doesn't pour very well. But my table is really not level. And that's why I've got it on a tray, because it may spill over. This is an antique old farm table. It's probably 150 years old. It was my husband's mother mother's. And she's been gone a long time. You just pour it in your mold. And always with my mermaids, I want to make sure it goes to the tail good. My table's not level, so I have to make sure it goes out to the arms. Next week, we're going to paint mermaids at the beach. I'm going to be on vacation, so I'm going to come to you, I hope, hopefully, if it's not raining, outside. And you can see the ocean. That's my plan. We'll see how that works. Her arm is a little thin. Okay, y'all don't mind me doing one ahead of time, do you? Okay, we've got a little more, so when I have a little more, I'm always ready to pour it in another one, so let's pour it in this flying bird. Don't worry if you go out of the mold, seriously, you can, you can trim it off or you can break it off. Still got a little more. It comes with little measuring cups, I don't use them, seriously. Still got some left, a little tiny bit left. Let's pour this little shell, this little shell. May not be enough for it. Yeah, it is. And you can let that cure in your cup, and then you can pour it out of your cup if you want to keep the same cup, but I don't. Okay. I'm going to scoot this over. Please don't run out. You can see. Look at it. Can you see it? It's already starting to cure. It's starting to turn white. Isn't that cool? Hey, Marilyn from Las Vegas. I have been there. Okay, I'm gonna take my gloves off. Got that at Debbie's DIY Go Go. I love it. Okay, next. Once you have, I'm going to make let those cure but I have one already made. So once you have cured your molds, you need to use a strong glue. I wouldn't use a white glue because it might get wet. So I'm going to be using E6000, the stinkiest glue in the world. You can get a nozzle for these. Right now this is a new bottle. It came beat up like this. And you just put your E6000 on and it does take a while to set up. Okay. 
So that's your first step. Make your mold. Second step, glue it onto your little marker. You might use a wooden marker, whatever you can find. Okay, I have one ready. This is a bird that I glued on earlier. And I'm going to paint him. And this one, I'm gonna paint a couple. But this one, I'm going to paint all white. If I can find the brush I want. 5,000 brushes. Here we go. I'm going to paint it with a mermaid brush. Okay, I'm just going to paint this one white, and the look it's going to get is this, because this one has white paint, and then it was distressed, I mean, not distressed, but it was painted over with the um, layered chocolate, and then I wiped that down to make an antique look. And then I added, look at the copper patina. Love that copper patina. Have you used it? Okay, so let's get started. I have some, some uh, my favorite white, which is white swan. And this one, we're just gonna paint all white. And hopefully, it'll dry good enough that you can see what the layered chocolate looks like on it. But I have one already ready to show you that's not white, but you can see. This one, I'm just gonna do solid white. You can mark on these with a marker to mark your plants, or you could put a cute little quote on them. I'm not very good at hand lettering. I probably would make a stencil. But I did try to hand letter one of them. It said the, the one I showed you. I've just, I don't know. I just, I, I could do it with a pen, but I cannot do it with a brush. Okay, easy as that. Now, when that dries, we want to paint the back, but easy as, easy as that. Okay? Now. Once you have it painted, that, we're going we're gonna to show you another step. Here's another one. This one, I'm going to paint to show you how to paint like this. And this is the bird that I poured a minute ago. Let me show you what, let me show you what that's doing. Do you see how it's already curing? It's already turning white? About 10 minutes is all it takes. I love that resin. Okay, this one I painted with a mix of blue, blue iris with some white, and I just put some stripes of white over it to keep it from looking so flat. So we're gonna show you how to do this look. Make sure I've got over far enough you can see it. Need a better brush. Let's take this little brush. Here's a good one. Okay, so I made this look like a Carolina bluebird. To get that color, that blue color, I just mixed a little blue iris with, blue iris is one of my favorite colors, with sea glass. little blue iris and a little bit of white to get that bluebird color. Hey Linda, how are you? Oh, I see some people that come every week. Thank you for coming every week. I appreciate that so much. Just feel like I have friends with me. I just did a live on my own Goods and Vintage Treasures and five of my friends popped on. It was like being with them. I miss my friends. So the the bluebird has blue wings. And these little birds are generic, so you can turn them into whatever kind of favorite bird you have. You can do a cardinal or whatever. And he has a little blue head. My husband feeds the bluebirds. Real worms. He, we buy worms from the worm man. We'll order worms. And then we've had, I don't know, maybe 15 or maybe we're, we're, we have four eggs right now. We'll actually have about six eggs in different nest. So we get bluebirds everywhere. Okay, so paint that blue. I need my water closer. Then I took a little bit of red. Which red is it? I took 
I love to mix these paints. They have so much pigment. The DIY paints, you just can mix and mix. Carnival Red. And I mix Carnival Red with a little bit of Sunshine. Oh, I love this yellow. Have y'all used this? This one's almost empty. I've got to get another one. The, the Sunshine Yellow. Gorgeous yellow. And I made me some orange. A little more yellow than red. Let me move that up so you can see the color. Here's my... And this is... And I, what I need, it's kind of a reddish or, orange on the Bluebird. So... His neck has, don't worry if a little bit of that paint mixes. You can go back and touch it up. There, I made a blob. Okay. And it comes down around his little tail. Okay, if you were doing this at home, you'd probably wait for that blue dried, but I am not running that hair dryer today. That, I hate that noise. Okay, next, we're gonna hit it with some white. Again, this is the swan white. And probably I should wait a little bit, but I'm gonna go ahead and paint it. And you know, it doesn't have to be perfect. When you're doing something for fun, just to just go with the flow and enjoy it. I could sell these in my booth, I guess. I have two booths at just around the corner in LinkedIn. That's actually where I get my paint. I'm going to paint his nose a little bit of the, a little more yellow. Nose, beak. And then his feet are a little, really, they're almost brown. And I'm going to use a little bit of the layered chocolate. I pre-opened these, so. Different brush. To do his little feet. Okay. Is that close enough? Can you see it? Hey, Linda from Missouri. Oh, you sneak watching again? Delisa's sneak, sneak watching. Okay, now I'm gonna draw a little tree because he just can't be floating out in space. He could be if he's flying, but this is a sitting bird. So, I'm sorry, I can hear the neighbor's dogs. He raises Weimar reamers and he must feed them at this time because every time I'm doing my show, they start barking. And I've got the door open. And he's... He, and we had some excitement around here Wednesday, uh, Saturday night. The neighbor saw a bear, and we are not in a bear neighborhood. But three bears have been seen. I guess they're young bears that have come out of the mountains. We're in the foothills of North Carolina. Can you imagine a bear come galloping around? Now, I'm going to have to let that dry a little bit. Okay, while he's drying, what we'll do is we'll add the, the limbs next. Let me hold him up where you can see him. Now, meanwhile, our birds have been over here cooking. Move way over so you don't get into trouble. Okay, so this is where we poured the resin. This tail is not quite solid yet, but you can see I over poured a little bit right here and I can just pinch that off. And there's our little bird. I love using the resin. And we can glue him right on one of our little markers. I'm gonna close my door because of those dogs. Oops, excuse me. I've never seen those dogs, but once when they got out, he raised his dogs. 
Weimar Reamers. They, he treats them like kings. Okay, and you just glue it on. That's how you get your little marker. I, I, I just love to... I just love to mix the colors myself. I mean, there are lots of available colors, but that paint has so much pigment. If you have the primary colors in white and black, you can create, especially for small projects like this, you can create any color. Let me show you how easy these come out. Here's the next one. Their little tails are not quite dry. And now's a good time when you take them out, if they've got a little overpour, you can just pinch that off. You wanna lay them somewhere flat. Here's the other one. And when I have extra, a lot of times I'll pour extra. Well, I'll take my little knife and get that out. It's got a little, I don't know if you can see, it's got a little up in there. It'll break off though. You wanna lay them flat so they don't get warped. And I'll show you how my mermaids for next week are doing. Now you can see her tail's a little thin. I can go back and pour a little more into that tail, make it thicker. But these are not ready yet because they're, they're, they're really big. That's next week. Okay, so next we've glued them on. We've painted one, and let's see. Okay, so first step, you make your resin. Second step, you glue it onto your, your little marker. Third step, you paint them. And I'll go back and show you how we paint the leaves on this one. You probably can already figure that. This one I painted just solid white. Okay, the next step is, you, if you're not going to put it outside, if you're not gonna put it outside, you can use Big Top. And Big Top is the, the finish for DIY paint. So if you're not gonna put it outside, this one I know is not gonna be outside. So I'm gonna put Big Top on it. But if you were gonna use it outside, and some of these I am planning on using outside, so I have sprayed them with just a, a outside spray coating. Something like you'd use on plastic chairs or something. And you just put a little Big Top on it. I am gonna do the back too, cause it might get wet. So the next step is to put your big top or whatever finish you're gonna use on it after you get them painted. I pre-opened that cause it gets stuck. Once you have your big top on it and it dries, you'll want to distress it. Here's one I have, I made a bee on it. I'm not too good at painting bees, but you can see how I painted him. Yes, hey Linda, let me show you what I'm doing. If you just joined, let me show you. We're making plant markers. Here's some that I, I picked up some plain plant markers, luckily for a dollar a pack at the Goodwill. And I've added resin, butterflies, leaves, birds, and I painted them now with DIY paints. First step is to, we made our res, we used our resin and we made resin birds. And the second step was we painted them. And this one right here is the one we painted today and it's drying. I mixed the colors, I used um, Carnival Red and sunshine yellow, a little more yellow to make the orange. And to make the blue, the light blue, I used white and sea glass, this beautiful blue, to make my blue background. This blue background's a little bit blue. I used white and blue iris for that one. And then I mixed the mixture of sea glass and white swan together with my blue iris to get my bluebird color. Oh, thank you, Linda. Oh, I try to ship next day. And now I had to take all my IOD off of, I'm, I'm answering Linda's comment. Um, I had to take all my IOD off of Etsy as of yesterday. And it, I now have, a, now have it all on my goodsandvintagetreasures.com page. But I am not offering free shipping yet. I, I haven't figured out how to offer free shipping yet. I, I built my page myself, so. I used to do some technology though, so when I taught school. I'm a retired teacher. Okay, next, we're going to do, I love to do this antiquing look. I take 
and it distresses it. I just let the look it gives it. I took the um, layered chocolate and a little bit of water, then thinned it down. Here's one that I've already painted and I've already put the big top on it. Remember, if you're gonna use it outside, you might wanna use something besides big top. You need to use something outside safe. And I'm just gonna paint all the way over it. And the back, I like to paint the back of things. I paint back of furniture. Yeah, I try to ship next day. Unless you order after next Saturday because I'm going to be out of town a week. Then this is just the baby wipe. And you have to put that finish on first because DIY paint can be reactivated with a wet, with a wet, paper, with a wet baby wipe or a wet paper towel or a wet cloth. So you don't want to wipe it back off. Don't you like how that looks? I like how it, I mean, it, it looks flat. Here's, here's painted without the layered chocolate on it. Let me show you that one. Okay. All right, here's one I did. This is a flower I did. This comes from He Loves Me. And I painted that flower white. And you know daisies are white. But watch what happens when I put the watered down paint on it. It's kind of like when you wax and you use a dark wax. Now, I didn't paint the back of this one. Oops. I'll have to do that. Now, watch how much prettier that I think. I think it looks prettier. I mean, it looks a little dirty, but it just brings out the detail. And they're just, I'm, so you could write on this with a white paint pen or, or if you're brave, you could paint something. I saw a cute one. It said, I wet my plant. That's a cute one. Now, it would need another little top and a finish. Let's see. I have one more. This is another B one. I finished some of these last night. Believe me, y'all, I have enough plants to put all of these in my plants. I have some beautiful plants. you have to go to my Facebook page and see. I have pictures of them on there. I went overboard this year. Because I was home, I couldn't do anything. I managed to go to the greenhouse, and they were, like, awesome. They, they only allowed three people in at a time. And they handed your, your card back in a wipe. So you can't beat that. And everybody had masks on, so I felt safe. As safe as we can feel now, right? I just think it adds to them. Oh, I should have put B-E-E. -E. I have to add an E. Be -E kind. Okay. All right, let's go back and finish our bird. Every once in a while, my, that bottle, that jar of uh, Big Top is getting old, I think. It bubbles up sometimes. I just go back over it and rub it again. You can see it's starting to dry. That's the one we put the Big Top on. Or you could use a spray sealer. Okay, let's finish up. He's not quite dry, but I am not turning the hair dryer on today. We're just going to paint over it. So I kind of get a little brush that's got kind of a, this brush is kind of stiff. It's kind of a stiff brush. And I have some greens I've already mixed. Okay, so this is yellow, sunshine yellow, and blue iris. More blue iris than yellow. And it makes kind of an olive green. And I, I don't have a proportions cause I just do it. And I just take it and I just pounce it to make the leaves. I hope my hand's not in the way. I like to go up here and pretend like there's a limb here. Okay. 
I just pounce it. Then, these work good too to put your mixed paints in, little plastic containers from the Dollar Tree. All right, this is blue iris and sunshine yellow with more yellow. So it makes a more pea green looking color or fresh spring green. I'm gonna do, just go back and put a little bit of that in. Uh-oh. And this is how I made the, it gives it a little bit of dimension. So you can paint your furniture with DIY paint, but you can also paint small items and small projects. There's my bird, he's looking pretty good, isn't he? All right, now I'm gonna paint a little eye on him, so I'm gonna take my layered chocolate And I don't put white in a bird's eye, I just do a dot. And there's his eye. He looks pretty much like a bird. Here's with the finish on him. Now this is the one we, this is the one we did a few minutes ago. It's just about dry, but not, yeah, I think I can put, I can put my DIY on it, my big top. By the end of the day, I've used like 20 brushes when I do something like this. It's not quite dry, but it's okay. Okay, let's, let's see what a little bit of um, patina looks like on one. Oh, we need a dry one. Are you dry yet? Not really. Okay, I love, I don't know if you've used this yet or not. This is the Pennies from Heaven. Oh, the blank markers, I got them at Goodwill for a dollar a pack, believe it or not. And I wish they'd have more, I'd have put them on my page. They say they're made from Horizon Group, made in China. But I found them for a 99 cent, three packs. It was a lucky find. My first time back to Goodwill, I was like going in like a mouse with mask and scurrying around. Okay, this is Pennies from Heaven. I love Pennies from Heaven. And I'm going to put, let's see, which one shall we put it on? Let's put it on this one. And I like to put it on my finger. I get a little bit of Pennies from Heaven. Tiny little bit. I got too much. And I just put a little accent on it. I just love the way it looks. Can you see it? Did it show up enough you can see? Let's see if I have another one here. We'll take one that's finished. Let's take the leaf. This is one I painted. with. This is one of the leaves from He Loves Me. I'm sure you can find these at any hardware store, though, or your Lowe's or Home Depot. That Pennies from Heaven is something else. Just, uh, is that not the cutest? Thank you, Linda. This is one that I put the pennies from heaven on, too. Oh, thank you. I did make this up. I love to make up something completely my own. Put a little more. Okay, so let's see what we ended up with. Me and my mini paints. Oh, I think, I think... We need a little pennies. I, I put pennies heaven on everything. You can take a, so easy to take a paint, paint, paint marker and write whatever you want to on there. I think it just really adds a little dimension to it. It's pretty. Put my pennies from heaven up. Okay. So you can get all of those at the DIY at your DIY, local DIY paint store. I get mine at just around the corner in Lincoln if you're close. If this needs another B. Okay, I'm gonna line my little babies up here. It's almost time for me to be finished.
Put them a little pile away. Some of these are finished and some of these are in stages, but now this one that we painted, I'm gonna take this one when it dries and I'll put the dark on it and it'll turn out looking a lot like, where's the white one, like this one. My end of view there. Okay, my little markers. I got too many. I got all, so I, I had three dollars in these and whatever I put into the, whatever I have in my resin. Resin can be expensive, but it goes a long ways. And I get my resin that um, I order mine off of Amazon. I think they turned out really cute. Let me straighten them out so you can see them. Maybe I just turn them. They really turned out cute, didn't they? And I'll show you this. Here's my mermaid that I'm going to use for next week. My granddaughter and I are going to be painting these for you. I hope she'll, if she doesn't get shy. I'll have to leave these in longer because they, they're so big. Yeah. Now, I use a lot of clay, but I also like the resin in here. And if you were using this on a curved surface, now is the time you could use it because, see, it'll, the tail will still curve. So she turned out great. Right here, I've got a little overfill. Now, I'll lay that flat and let that dry completely flat so it will go on my project I'm going to do. This one, her tail's a little thin right there, but I think she's going to be okay. That's because my table is not level. Usually, I do these on another table because this old farm table is not very level. Notice her tail is still thin. Oh, she turned out pretty. She's got a little dirt on her arm from previous projects, but I think it's got a little red paint in it. So next week, we're going to paint these. I do use the clay. Right now, I am totally out of the clay, and the company is out of the clay, and I can't reorder it. In fact, I've ordered some air-dry clay that's not as good, but just so I can have it to put on my website. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that. And see if you can find you some some of these cute little plant markers. Hopefully, you can find some at your home. Maybe the Dollar Tree has them. I don't know. Maybe you can find some of these at Home Depot or Lowe's or your hardware store. And I'll go over the steps again. And then we use the Easy Cast Resin, the Amazing Casting Resin. Make sure you get the one that says Turn White in 10 Minutes so it'll dry fast. Then I used Bird Song, and I used, well, actually, I used Bird Song, and I used He Loves Me for the flower. He Loves Me for the leaf. And I do not remember which one the bee is on, but I used the bee. Um, I'll have to look and see. Maybe I'll put it in the comments. And uh, if you'd like to buy some of these molds, well, let me tell you what we did next. Then we used E6000, stinky E6000 to glue them onto these little things. I also sprayed these with um, a finish spray or shellac before I painted them. Then I used some mixed colors of the DIY, just different DIY color of the paint, and we painted it. Then we put another big top on it if you're gonna use them inside or an outside spray if you're gonna use them outside. And then we distressed them. We put a dress, we used layered chocolate to distress them. And then we sprayed Final coat of Big Top or your spray, and then we used a little bit of Pennies from Heaven to give them a little detail. I love to mix the colors. I used to tell my granddaughter when I kept her and she was a baby, I said, don't mix the colors in the paint set, but now I say mix the colors. So everybody, hope you have a wonderful day, and uh, join me next week from the beach, if everything goes well, and we're gonna be using these mermaids and we're going to paint them, and we're going to put them in a project with sea glass. We'll see how that works, and maybe some resin. So everybody, have a wonderful day. Homemade recipe for clay. I have too, but everybody says it doesn't work good. I ordered some creative paper clay, I think, but I, as soon as I can order the DIY clay, it is my favorite because it's just so smooth. Everybody have a good day. Tune in next week. Look up my page, goodsomevintagetreasures.com friend me on Facebook, Goods and Vintage Treasures, also on Instagram. And I'll see you. I'll be doing some lives on my page this week. Everybody have a great week. Love you.